I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Intel's fashionable wearable, drones are for the birds, and computers are learning to see better than ever. So far, the most fashionable wearable we've seen come down the pipe has been the gold Apple Watch. But now it looks like chipmaker Intel is getting into the wearable game with a very high-tech and good-looking bracelet. Called the Mika, which stands for My Intelligent Communication Accessory, the device features a curved OLED touchscreen on the underside and so far at least two appearance options on the outside. The Mika is also a standalone device, so it doesn't need to pair with your smartphone to work. As you might imagine, it's being marketed to women. It's $495, but that price does include two years of 3G wireless data service through AT&T. The Mika can run apps, get notifications, and links to Bluetooth headphones as well. We think it looks pretty good and should go well with our Bluetooth earrings. Frenchman Edwin Van Rumbeck loves him some birds. As a kid in the 60s, his dad actually built him a wind-up mechanical bird that really flew. Now Edwin is taking his love for birds and complex engineering to the next level with his own creation called Bionic Bird. Controlled by a smartphone and eventually a smartwatch, Bionic Bird can fly for 10 minutes at heights of up to nearly 300 feet. It's so convincing that real birds often join in the fun. The project is already funded on Indiegogo and is into stretch goals, which could include a built-in HD camera to record flights. Eventually, there may also be a hovering hummingbird type model as well. Some early bird units are still available for $140 or get two for a $190 pledge. One big problem that AI researchers have yet to solve is image recognition by computers. But two simultaneous announcements this week may signal a breakthrough. Both Stanford University and Google announced that their independent projects have vastly improved a computer's ability to describe what's in an image, and not just by locating a person or car in the picture. For instance, Google's system identified this scene as a group of young people playing a game of Frisbee. It says that this is a person riding a motorcycle on a dirt road. Not bad, but there's still work to be done, since this kite was described as a man flying through the air while riding a snowboard. Oh, so close. Well, not really. Anyway, the new ability could help computers better describe photos and video footage, possibly helping to solve crimes, speed up search results, and hasten the arrival of even more advanced artificial intelligence. So we're keeping an eye on it. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you again tomorrow.